Okay, let's make a chunky flat granny square. This is really easy. I'm making it with Bernat Forever Fleece Super Bulky six, six Weight Yarn. I find this to be the softest and easiest to work with uh, in the Super Bulky Weight Yarn. This is the color Rose Hip. It's going to end up being part of a blanket that I'm making and the pattern will be on here pretty soon. This is a 10 inch square made with one, two, three, four, five rounds. I'll show you how big it is at the end of each round because you can make it smaller for sure. You could go ahead and make it bigger than this as well. It just keeps going. It's the way that I learned how to make it. It doesn't leave any big holes in the corners. They're all pretty equal. All right, let's get started. You are going to make a magic ring. I know some people run screaming from the room <laughs> when they hear that, but it's not that hard. Here's how I do it. I take two fingers. You could do it on your four fingers if you want to. Most important thing is to just leave your pretty good sized tail down here. Bring your working yarn around, cross it over. You have an X. I'm using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. Go under the first part of the X, over the next one, bring it through, and just kind of twist it a little bit. Now grab that with your fingers, just kind of hold onto it, because you're going to make a chain. Get your working yarn, switch fingers there. Got this loop. You can tighten that up in just a minute. Don't worry about it. Bring that through. And now you can, oops, sorry. Now you can tighten it up. Make sure I'm still in the camera view. Sorry about that. The most important thing to remember when you're working in a magic circle is to go under both the circle and the tail. The tail is what allows you to bring that in and tighten it up later. All right, so we're going to start chain four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to make three double crochet. This is going to count as your first double crochet and a chain two for a corner. Yarn over, go into your circle, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two, and there's your double crochet. This is going to be a corner. I'm going to move my camera a little bit closer. Let's try that. So you can see the stitches clearly. We're going to make two more double crochet. Three for three total. Yarn over. Make sure you're going under the circle and the tail. Get your yarn. Bring it through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through the last two loops. Now you have two double crochet. We need one more. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's going to be your first side of your square. It's funny because we work in rounds, but it's a square. Chain two. This is going to be a corner. You have to have corners when you have squares. If your circle keeps getting bigger like mine does, because I tend to pull on it, let's pull that in a little bit. All right, so we have three double crochet and a chain two. We're going to do another three double crochet. One, this is a new hook. That's a little stiff. Two. 
and three. This is going to be our next side. So you have a side, a corner, a side. We need another corner. Chain two. That makes your corner. And pull that in a little bit more. The whole time, make sure you're going under. If you're not sure, pull on this. It should pull the whole circle tighter. If it doesn't, then you know you've uh, somehow not gone under. All right, this is our next corner. We need three more double crochet for our next side. One. Two. And. Oops, I almost caught the tail in there. Three. Let me pull it just to make sure I'm still on track. Yes, it still works. And another corner. Now let's check and see how many sides we have. One, two, three. We're on our last side. This is going to count as our third double crochet, so we only need two more. That's also our corner. So we don't need a chain two on this one, just two double crochet. One, and two. Now we are going to join at the third chain. So you can either count up. Sometimes I have trouble finding my first one, one, two, three. What I usually do is I don't want to go into this one because that's the top of my double crochet. This is actually my fourth chain, so I don't want to go into that one. I want to go into this one. That's the third. Sometimes as you go along, you know what? I'm going to show you something to have a smaller hook on hand, just in case this is a little bit hard to come through. And pull it through. Just makes your life easier. And slip stitch. Okay, see how it looks like a double crochet and you're going to pull this tight. Just pull, 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 pull. We'll weave that in later so that it doesn't come apart. All right, there's your first round. Three double crochet on each side. And we did it joined with a slip stitch. Now you're going to go into that corner under the chain space. Pull your yarn through, make another slip stitch, pull it tight, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. I did want to show you as each round progresses how big this is. It's approximately two inches. All right, we're going to work into this corner. This is where it can get a little confusing, but this is also what makes it um, where the corners are nice and even and uh, you don't end up with a big gaping hole. This is actually, every corner is going to get two double crochet, chain two, and another two double crochet, except here, we're going to start. This is one of our double crochet. When we come all the way around, we're actually going to make what would have been our first one. So this is our double crochet and our chains. So we need two more. It's going to make sense to you in a little while. I promise. Two more double crochet for our corner. This is the only one that's different like that. Now you're going to go into the top of each double crochet across. Now we have three. You'll want to pull that double crochet from the corner over because this can very often hide on you. I'm going to go right into that with a double crochet. So one, two, and three. Let's turn it. There's your corner. Every corner gets two 
double crochet and then a chain two and another two double crochet. So there's one double crochet, two, double crochet, chain two, one, two, and another two double crochet, one, and two. And see how that first double crochet can get hidden? Pull that over and it opens it right up for you. You should have three. Everything needs to stay even because it is a square. All the sides have to be the same. Try to keep your stitches as equal as you can. So double crochet into each of those three. So we have three double crochet. Those are our three. We've added two because that was our corner. So when we come back around on our next round, we're going to have more double crochet to work into. All right, we've reached our corner. Make sure you're going under that chain. Two double crochet, one. Two. Chain two. I'm going to return that a bit. And two double crochet. One. And two. There's your three double crochet from the previous round. Pull that over, open it up. And you'll have three double crochet to work into one. two, and three double crochet. There's another corner, two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet every corner. I know that first one looked weird, but it will end up being the equivalent of two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet, chain two. And another two double crochet. It grows very quickly with this super bulky six weight yarn. All right, pull that over so you have you can see your first, you still have three double crochet. It's very easy to lose that first one. One. two, and three. This is where it's a little different. You have to remember every time you get back to this initial corner, this counted as one of our double crochet and our chain space, and this counted as our other two, so we're missing one. So every time you come back around, you're going to add it in this same corner. Go into that corner space with a double crochet. So that's actually the first double crochet of that corner from the previous round. And as I said, you can count up from the bottom or do what I do. I just keep telling myself, not this one because that's a double crochet. Not that one, because that's the fourth chain. This one. I want the third chain. And I am just going to go ahead and use my smaller hook. Make my life easy. Pull through for a slip stitch. Go back into that corner under the chain for another slip stitch. Tighten it up. Chain four. One, two, three, Four. Okay. Now, let's see how big it is with two rounds. It's a little over about four and a half, close to five inches. So if you want to make something with that size of a square, you can stop here. We're going to continue. Now, remember that was one of our 
double crochet in the chain space. We'll, when we come back around, we'll make the other one. So we still need two more double crochet in that corner space. One. And two. Grab some more yarn. Now, it keeps increasing by four every round because you're adding two from the corner from the previous round and two from this corner from the previous round. So you're always adding four. So we had three to begin with, we're adding four. So now we have seven double crochets to work into. Remember to pull this over so you can open up that first double crochet. So you should have seven. If you don't, something's wrong. One. Two. Three. Four, five, over there, six, seven. Okay, you've reached your corner. Two double crochet chain two and two double crochet. So there's one double crochet, two, chain two, and another two double crochet. One, two. Remember if I'm going to slowly for you, fast forward, if I'm going too fast, pause, pull that over because look, that one wanted to hide. Should have seven. Let's see if we do. Hopefully, one, two, oops, three, mm -hmm. four, five. six and seven we've reached our next corner two double crochet one two chain two one two two double crochet one two try to make sure your chains aren't terribly loose because you want to have all, as best you can, have them all even. It'll help keep it nice and flat and straight. All right, make sure you pull that one over. Find your first double crochet to go into. We'll have another seven. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. There's your corner. Two double crochet into the corner. Make sure you're going underneath that chain space. One. Two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Just kind of always check when you're at your corner to make sure you've included two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. It's easy to forget. Um, 
sometimes I've found myself making two and uh, getting in a hurry and moving on along. And then of course you don't have the right number of double crochets for the next round. Okay, pull that over. Seven more. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. Six and seven. You're working into that um, double crochet that we worked into the corner from the previous round. So that's the top of it right there. Don't think you're doing anything wrong. It's a little bit tighter. Here's where it's easy to forget. You have to make your double crochet into this corner to complete the first corner of this round. You can uh, forget that easily and then join into this chain. And then when you come all the way back around, realize that you're one stitch off. How do I know this? Because I've done it. I'm just trying to help you to learn from my mistakes. Okay, so I don't want to go into the double crochet. I don't want to go into my fourth chain. I want to go into my third chain. You don't have to use a smaller hook. I just find it easier. And I'm not stretching that out. All right, this is another place where you can forget there's a slip stitch and a second slip stitch by going under that chain. Make your second slip stitch pull that tight. <clears throat> Excuse me. All this talking. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now let's see how big we are now. We have one, two, three rounds. And we're at about seven inches. All right. Now we had seven in the last round, seven double crochets to work into, but we're adding four, two from each of our corners. So seven plus four is 11. That's how many double crochets we should have to work into. All right, there's your first double crochet and chain. We still have to make the rest of our corner. One, two. I know this part can be confusing, but it really does help make a really nice even square. All right, pull that over so that you can make sure you find your first double crochet. Again, you can fast forward through all this. We'll be making one more round after this and doing an invisible join at the end if you want to fast forward to that. Feel free. You will definitely want to make an invisible join. One, because it looks nice and neat, and two, because it keeps your stitches uh, even. So you have the same number of stitches to work into when you're joining your granny squares. All right, make sure I'm counting. That was my corner. So there's my first double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I do like to hold on to the bottom of my stitch. Doesn't get crazy. And eleven. Should be at a corner. 
I am. Hallelujah. And you make your corner stitch, which is two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet. On to our next side. Should have eleven. One, two. Hang on. <laughs> Three. Or and sometimes I'm looking at my camera here to make sure I'm still in frame and then I have a little trouble making my stitches. All right, I need to go back and count. That was my corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yay! And our corner. It's very repetitive. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. One, two, three, four. Move my camera a little bit. Sorry, getting out of range here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, back to our corner, and this is our last side of this round. One, two, chain two, one, two. Okay, you've got your corner. See how they all line up? really like making this. It's a different kind of granny square. I like them all. I find this one to be the easiest. One, two, three, four, five. My yarn keeps tightening up on me. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and remember you're working into the top of your last double crochet there. So that's 11, oops, zero. And 
make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Make sure that you make your double crochet to complete that first corner. Go into the corner. Double crochet. Let's join up with your third chain. Not this one, not this one, this one. Let's pull that yarn through. Slip stitch. Go into your corner with your second slip stitch. Always remember that one. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. All right, let's see. How big is it now? All right, it's just a little over eight inches. Somewhere in the eight inch range would be what you would expect with a 10 inch hook or 10 millimeter hook, sorry, and uh, six weight yarn. This is going to be my last round for the blanket I'm making because I'm making 10 inch squares or approximately 10 inch squares. Okay. Let's get you down closer again. All right. We're going to make our two double crochet to complete this partial corner. There's our first. Now we had 11 double crochet in the last round. You add four for each because you've added two more double crochets in each corner. So 11 plus four is 15. That's how many we should have now. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay. I am going to save you from having to listen to me the whole time. I'm going to come around and finish all my corners and my 15 double crochets on each side. And I'll join you when we're back at this original corner. All right. I have finished my fifth round. One, two, three, four, five. I have 15 double crochets all the way around and then two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in each corner. So I'm back to the first corner. This is where you can quite often forget it when you're on your last round to go back and make this first double crochet of your initial corner. I've done it. I'm so anxious to finish that I just want to join that chain. All right. And we're going to do an invisible join. So let's find our third. I'm going to use my small hook. Not the double crochet, not the fourth chain, but the third chain. Pull it on through. Whoops. 
we're only going to do one slip stitch. So you've completed your last corner. Leave yourself a bit of a tail to work with. All right, let's get down closer here. Pull that through. Get your needle. Wow, I do not like seeing my hands that close up, <laughs> but I want you to see the stitch, so I'll suffer through it. All right, here's where your yarn is coming out of that stitch. Here's your next stitch. You want to skip this stitch. We're going to come back and duplicate this and it's going to be seamless. So go into the next stitch, the front and the back loop. Go through those. Just do it nice and slow. This is what we're going to be duplicating. All right. That's the first part of that stitch. Now, we're going to go right back into here, right in the middle. And pull this yarn around. Right in the middle of that. Go ahead and catch this other, the back loop there. And one of the stitches back here. Pull it through slowly, very slowly. You want to make sure that you're just kind of duplicating that stitch. Should be fairly equal to the others. Now it's a nice neat join. You don't have a knot and you have the same number of stitches so that when you go to join your other granny squares it's just going to match up perfectly. And then you can come back here and weave in your end. Usually I just tunnel through Remember not to pull it too tight because you want to leave that stitch equal to the others. I'm kind of working upside down here. <laughs> Just tunnel through again, however you normally like to weave in your ends. I like to go over. If I go under again, it's just going to pull out. Two or three times, four if you want to. Just feel it, make sure it's not too hard. Just feels nice and soft still. You don't want any hard bumps when you are crocheting. You want everything to be nice and soft. Pull it through a little bit. I will caution you, it's better to come up here and <laughs> cut it and leave a little, uh, a little bit much than to come too close. You do not want to cut into your crochet stitch because it will fall apart. And then you'll be sad. Okay. Okay. Let's see how, how big is our square now. All right. Right at 10 inches. Yay. All right. If you want to keep going, it, it grows with this weight of yarn and a 10 millimeter hook by about two inches with each round. You can go as big as you like, but I'm going to make a blanket with 10 inch squares. I hope this helped you. I hope you make something with these. If so, let me know in the comments. If you give me a thumbs up, I would love it. And any feedback is very welcome. I have lots of free patterns now, mostly blankets, on my website at www.i-crochet.com. I'll leave a link for this one, and I'll leave links for the yarn that I used in the 
uh, on this and in the blanket, the Bernat Forever Fleece. Really and truly my favorite yarn. All right, thanks for watching. Hi, the pattern video tutorial for this patchwork blanket made with these 10 inch squares is out now on my channel and my website.